Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Colio. In this video, we will discuss one problem of number theory. So, in this problem, we will find sum of digits. It is based on sum of digits. Let's read the question first. Let fn denote the sum of digits of n. Let n is capital N is 4. 4,444 power 4,444. Find the value of f of f of f n. Means meaning of f n, sum of digits of n. Meaning of f of f n, sum of digits of f n. Meaning of f of f of f n, sum of digits of f of f of n. That is what we have to find. So now, as we know that sum of digits, sum of digits is congruent to and modulo 9. We know this thing that if a number is divisible by 9, it's in that number sum of digits is also divisible by 9. That is what I am writing. Now we have to check that n is congruent to what? As we know that n is equals to 4, 4, 4, 4, power 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 and 4, 1444 is congruent to minus 2 modulo 9. It means 4444 power 4444 is congruent to minus 2 power 4444 modulo 9. So minus 2 power 4444 minus 2 power 4444 4, 4, 4. power of minus 2 is even therefore we can write that this is 2 power congruent to 2 power 4444 4, 4, 4, right and 2 power 4444 4, 4, 4, we can write as 2 into 2 power 4443 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, modulo 9 right now why i am writing it like this because 4443 4, 4, 4, is divisible by 3 right and 2 cube is nearest to 9 there is remainder 1 if remainder plus 1 or minus always we uh, try to create a number such that we will get modulo 1 or minus 1 and in this situation in this situation we can write that 2 is equals to this number is congruent to 2 into 8 power 1481 modulo 9 right modulo 9 okay so number n is congruent to 2 into minus 1 power 1481 modulo 9 which is which is congruent to minus 2 modulo 9 which we can write as 7 modulo 9 it means n that is 4444 power 4444 is congruent to 7 modulo 9 okay now but as we know that n n is congruent to 7 mod 9 and fn is congruent to n all right so we can say that fn is congruent to 7 modulo 9 right if f fn is congruent to 7 modulo 9 we know that f of f of f of n will be congruent to f of f of n modulo 9 will be congruent to f of n modulo 9 will be congruent to 7 modulo 9 how it is coming see if this is a number if this is a number so we are applying the same concept that sum of this number which number f of fn sum of this number is congruent to number modulo 9 so we are getting that f of f of f of n is congruent to 7 modulo 9 this implies this implies f of f of f of n will be either 7 or 15 or uh, 7 or 16 or 25 like this these are the possible values. These may be the values, but we don't know which value we will get. So let it, let's define it as equation number. Let's define it as equation number two. Okay. Now, the second thing, 
as we know that sum of digit of any number will be always less than equals to nine times number of digits. For example, one, two, three, three digit number is there. We can say that sum of any three digit numbers will be less than equals to nine times three, right? Nine into three. Okay, that concept we are going to use. So, uh, I'm saying that sum of digits is always equals to nine less than equals to nine times number of digits of n number of digits of n all right we know that n is equals to four 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 power four 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 all right now if we want to if we want to uh, apply this concept in that situation we should know how many digits in 4444 power 4444 to calculate number of digits to calculate number of digits we have to to calculate number of digits we should take log both sides standard log means base 10 so we are getting 4444 log 4444 so we have now we have log n to the base 10 is equals to 4444 log 4444 which is less than equals to 4444 log 10 power 4 which is less than equals to 4 into 4444 so log n is this therefore n is less than equals to 10 power n is less than equals to uh, n is less than equals to 10 power 4 into 4 into 4 4 4 4 which is equals to 1 7 which is equals to 1 7 7 4 6 uh, I am writing it like this which is equals to 4 into 1 4 this is what we are getting n is less than equals to this okay we are going to calculate number of digits so how many number of digits will be there you can think like this 10 power 1 having two digits right so this number must have must have number of digits this power plus 1 right so we can say that we can say that number of digits we can say that number of digits number of digits number of digits is less than equals to 4 into 4 1 4 plus 1 therefore we can say that fn sum of digits less than equals to 9 times less than equals to 9 times 1 plus 4 into this is 6 7 7 and 1 7 this is what we are getting fn less than equals to this okay after simplification we are going to get 1 5 9 after simplification we are going to get 1 5 9 9 9 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 we are getting 6 digits so we can say sum of digits must be less than equals to 1 5 9 9 3 one five nine 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 three therefore therefore if we want to calculate sum of digits of fn we know that in fn either there are six digits or less than six digits so sum of digits of fn must be less than equals to nine into six that is 54 next we have to calculate sum of digits of Next, we have to calculate sum of digits of f of fn, right? But f of fn is a number less than equals to 54. Now, we have to think up to 54, which number is there? 1 to 54, which number is there? Which is giving us maximum sum of digits? That number is 49. So, we can say that f of f of fn, we can say that f of f of fn must be less than equals to 4 plus 9 that is 13 why because f of fn is less than equals to 54 and all the numbers if we among all the numbers 
one to fifty four. If we'll see maximum sum of digits, that is forty nine, right? That is forty nine. So we can say that f of f of f n must be less than equals to four plus nine. That is must be less than equals to thirteen, right? Now this is equation number three. Come to equation number two. F of f n. Uh, we concluded there that f of f of f n is either seven or sixteen or twenty five, and here we are getting f of f of f n is less than equals to thirteen. So there is only one possibility. Only possibility is seven. So seven is our answer, right? So seven is the answer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Bye bye for now.